First, though, it's a huge weekend for Daytona Beach. Thousands of people expected for this year's Bike Week, the annual event expected to pump in millions of dollars into the local economy. We're glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Businesses are hoping for a successful run this year. Over the past two years, the city has had to adjust some rules due to the pandemic. News 6's Lauren Cervantes is live in Daytona Beach tonight with all the details for us. Lauren. Yes, it is day one of the 10 day long event, the kickoff to Bike Week. We're out here along Main Street. Now, this is an event expected to draw hundreds of thousands of people to the area and some big dollars. Bike Week is the world's largest motorcycle event. We say that for several reasons because it does cover the entire region. And I'm talking about Florida. You'll see people in Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa, Coco, all throughout the area. But definitely the epicenter is Daytona Beach. Janet Kersey with the Daytona Regional Chamber of Commerce says they expect to see about 400,000 people make their way to Daytona Beach for the event that will be eating at local restaurants, hitting up the shops, and staying in hotels. We usually see about $75 million worth of economic benefit within the 10 days. And this year, since it's stronger, it'll probably be even more than that. The Chamber of Commerce is responsible for putting on Bike Week, and Kersey says while it's a fun event, it's also an important one for the community. It's hugely important for us, especially coming out of a pandemic. Um, our businesses really need that. You know, they've struggled for years. This is a great opportunity for them to make some additional resources in the community, and locals get the chance to work and make extra money so they can fix their houses up and buy new cars and all those things that they've been kind of waiting to do. Now, while this is more of an adult geared area, Kirstie tells me there are also family friendly events and she says those are located over by the Speedway with activities for kids. For now in Daytona Beach, I'm Lauren Cervantes getting results news six. Lauren, thank you. Our team at ClickOrlando.com has a complete guide to this year's Bike Fest for you. From general information to traffic closures, you can find it all right on the homepage.